hi everyone so sorry for uh, delaying you um, I was supposed to release these uh, solutions for question, for question 6 going up on uh, I think on Monday yeah but I've uh, really delayed you so let's quickly move on to solving the question is saying the number of soldiers at AB barracks who contracted influenza after two days during a um, flu epidemic is approximately given by the exponential function that so this is the exponential function which is uh, representing the the number of soldiers where qt is representing the number of soldiers at the time uh, t days and then t is being given in days and then this is the exponential form i mean the exponential yeah function so the question says if if 40 soldiers contracted the flu by the 7 so if 40 soldiers contracted the flu by the 7 find how many soldiers contracted the flu by the 15 so in 7 days uh 40 soldiers contracted the flu meaning while there is t there we put uh 7 and then while there is qt we put 40 and then we make k the subject of the formula so once we find k it will be easier for us to find uh, the number of soldiers that contracted uh, uh, flu on day 15 so let's let's do let's quickly do that so where there is qt we put 40 and then where there is uh, where, where there is uh, uh, t there we're going to put uh, we're going to put this negative kt I'm oh, sorry why they still they are going to put our um, value of t which is 7 So here it's just a matter of uh, cross multiplying. So when you cross multiply this, we're going to have something like this. So we're going to have 40 times 1 there will give us 40. Then 40 times uh, 40 times 1,249. We're going to have 49,000. Oh, sorry, this is a plus. We're going to have 49,960. And then this is uh, multiplied by E negative. E to the power negative 7. Okay. Then everything is equal to 500. So now here we take the 40 to the other side of the equal sign. So we can subtract the 40 this side and that side. There's no problem. Or if you want to just take it to the other side of the equal sign. Okay. And then this side when you take 40 that side we're going to have 460 then we divide both sides by 49 96 0 49 uh, 96 0 like that so we're going to have something like this being equal to so that will give us uh, it will give us something like 23 over 2498 so according to logarithms we know to say this can be simplified how by yeah this can be simplified by um, 
by simply just uh, introducing lean on both sides then this side we introduce lean and then this negative 7 k will come down so I'm going to have negative 7 k uh, lean e being equal to so this is going to be the lean of that the lean of that if you have a calculator you can find it but since you guys are not allowed to use a calculator you can just write it the way it is yeah so from there what you can do is uh, here we know to say the lean of e is just one so meaning we just remain with negative 7k this side then this is equal to so you have negative 7k um, being equal to the lean of 23 everything divided by 24 98 then what you can do here is you divide by negative 7 divide everything by negative 7 and then to find the value of k so k is just uh, uh, negative uh, lean of 23 or you can say negative 1 over 7 lean 23 over 24.98 so this is basically the value of k now, and now the question goes further to say find how many soldiers contracted the flu uh, by the 15 so by the 15th day the soldiers the number of soldiers that contracted the flu is just equivalent to uh, q when time is equal to 15 so meaning in that expression this expression uh, where the scale will put that value and then where the still will put 15 so we're going to have uh, 500 then divided by 1 then plus 1 2 4 9 then we have e raised to power the negative of k then to be the negative of that so we need to that will just become positive then when you multiply it with that uh, t which is 15 so instead of me just writing 7 over 5 i'll write 15 over 5 then i mean 15 over 7 15 over 7 then we have lean 23 over 24 uh, 98 so this is basically the the number of soldiers that contracted flu uh, on day 15 yeah i mean by day 15 so uh, if you had a calculator you can find the, fi the value of this that since you don't have a calculator you just leave it like this yeah so let's quickly move on to the next question which is question 7